Welcome to the IC3D training video, Point Editing Part 1. In this tutorial, we'll introduce the point editor and we'll create a complex model. The model we'll create is this dishwasher soap bottle with handle. We'll begin by creating a base shape within Shape Modeler. Import your reference photo and center it. Let's start by creating the basic shape of the model. Using the drag and scale on drag tools, indicated by the small chain connection at the top, we can move our model's center to be offset to the base, allowing us to create the offset half. The shapes we are using to create this model are custom shapes that were created in Illustrator and imported into IC3D using the DXF file format. These shapes correspond to the varied horizontal sections of the model. You should be aware of how your model will look and how your points will move when switching between front and side views. Some points may get moved in the side view when dealing with the front view and vice versa. So being aware of both is key to making a good model. Remember to always make sure that the smoothing factor is set to either Smooth on Final Model or Always Smooth. This will let the program smooth the model, eliminating the polygonal look. Also, checking Add Interim Shapes will add transitions in your model that will help the overall appearance. Add your newly made model to the scene. Now we'll create the handle from a primitive using Point Editor. Under the Object Editor tab, there is a sphere icon labeled Add Primitive. Clicking this will give you a list of the available primitives. Here you can create a cube, sphere, cylinder, plane, or pyramid, as well as the options to change their properties. Here we'll use a cylinder with the dimensions 16, 13, 1. This will act as our base for the creation of the handle. Click your newly made model and hit the Point Editor button under the Object Editor tab. This will open up the Point Editor window. Much like the Shape Modeler template, we can import a reference image to work with. Note that matching the dimensions of the Shape Modeler reference image with the Point Editors is a must in order to ensure proper scaling. Using the Vertex tool, we'll start by pulling some vertices into a square shape with smoothed corners to match the handle of our reference. Delete the top and bottom faces so we are only left with the sides. Position the model to the size of your handle. Check to make sure it is the right shape before continuing. Here we've made a mistake. Let's undo and fix the corners of the model. The corners were slightly too broad, and we wanted to have more condensed corners. Using the Scale tool and viewing the model as a simple wireframe, we can correct small mistakes. Move your points with the Translate tool and scale the points when needed to fit the shape of the handle. Towards the base of the handle, we must flare out the end of the shape in order to match the geometry on the base of the handle. Always remember, polyflow is important to your models. Having neat polygons and tries will allow for a smoother model and higher quality render.
Also, make sure to view your model from different angles and adjust according to the shape. And remember that we are working in a 3D space and all angles can be viewed. Once you are satisfied with how the first pass on the handle looks, we can hit save and move on to welding it to our initial base model. When the handle pops into the scene, it may need a slight position adjustment so it is lined up with our base. With these models created, we can now start to weld them together. This will be covered in Point Editor Part 2. This concludes the IC3D training video, Point Editing Part 1.